Adventure games are a rarity as is already and one set in the present time even more so. As a psychological thriller overclocked a history of violence is in a league of its own in regard to content, but how does it stack up in regard to everything else? You play as David McInmara, a psychiatrist assigned to Staten Island to investigate five young adults condition to find out what happened to them and why they ended up in such a sorry state as before being committed they took to the streets armed and naked. The game paints a bleak picture from the very beginning. David's marriage is falling apart, New York is hit by a seemingly endless thunderstorm, and the psychiatric ward you're in resembles a jail. See you later. Yeah, welcome to 1960s Romania, David. You can thank your government for the conditions. Everyone you meet is under pressure in one way or another, and some characters' histories are depressingly sad. The story gradually unfolds as you evaluate and converse with your patients, and better yet, there's not a single predictable moment in the story. It's safe to say that Overclocked's narrative is its strong point, and if that's what you're after, you can't go wrong here, even if it takes a slightly silly turn towards the end. But this is still a game we're talking about, and all the story in the world won't make up for shoddy or missing gameplay. Overclocked is a point-and-click adventure. Indirect interaction is at the order of the day, however many adventurers are likely to notice one thing. Overclocked's puzzles are an absolute breeze. This isn't because the game is glaringly obvious, but rather because the design takes an intuitive approach to progression. There's no wacky combinations or even dialogue puzzles to speak of. Instead, everything you do feels like a natural development of the story. For instance, it makes sense that you would go out for a drink after a hard day at work, or check your answering machine before bedtime, and it's these kind of intuitive interactions that are king and overclocked. In all fairness, half the game is comprised of using the right recording on the right patient to initiate a flashback to progress further, but given your job description, it fits in perfectly with the theme. And in case you think you missed something, pressing the spacebar reveals all hotspots on one screen. Also, the game makes a point about how conversations only take place once and cannot be repeated. While all these simplifications sound like dumbing down, in reality the gameplay can best be described as streamlined. Gone are the days of combining everything with everything else, and instead, we're treated to smooth pacing and sensible interactions. If that isn't an evolution in adventuring, nothing is. Adventure veterans are likely to find it too straightforward to be engaging from a purely gameplay perspective, but everyone else can just sit back and take in the compelling story. Unfortunately, the visuals are average at best. Environments are typically excellent, but character models are basic and there's no facial animation to speak of. Sure, there's lip sync, but for a story-driven game, that simply won't do. The voice acting and sparse music are more than adequate and the game does employ the old trick of having characters' faces fit their general mood, but the presentation is simply inadequate for this type of game. Even worse, the pre-rendered cutscenes are thoroughly inconsistent as the models used literally differ from cutscene to cutscene. It's still mostly good given that the developer probably had a next to nothing budget, yet it's an annoying irony that games with top tier visuals waste them on subpar stories while story driven experiences have to make do with basic visuals. Overclocked is an adventure unlike any other and while it falls short in certain aspects, it succeeds in most others and ultimately makes for a unique and compelling if depressing experience. Those looking for a more relatable, realistic story are strongly advised to take the plunge, whereas adventure regulars might be better served with something more traditional. I can hear footsteps in the hallway. Oh, he's coming.